we should change to four shifts per day instead of three. Why do you say that? Three shifts a day would be better. Safety aboard ship is key and should never be sidelined even for personnel staffing decisions. Safety, huh? Yeah, that's important. But what does that have to do with the number of shifts? That's right. Three shifts instead of four. You can't compromise safety. Hmm. I guess you're right. I'll mention it to the department head when we get back to the ship. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, Mr. Jakaro, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of the red herring, also known as a diversionary tactic. I thought it was making pretty good sense. That may seem so, Mr. Thrax, but the form of the argument is invalid. Red herrings are statements mentioned in an argument that mislead or distract from a relevant or important issue. As an informal fallacy, the red herring falls into a broad class of relevance fallacies. Unlike the straw man which is premised on a distortion of the other party's position, the red herring is a seemingly plausible, though ultimately irrelevant, diversionary tactic. The fallacy is due to the fact that the misleading or distractionary statements used within the argument are not relevant to the issue being discussed and therefore not valid premises. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yes, I will endeavor to use better reasoning in the future. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the red herring fallacy, which is a diversionary tactic. It's only logical. 